how different was you when you was 15 to now? So different. Because I've seen what it is. Just in life. So different. Life. Yeah, yeah. So how different was you five years ago to now? Completely different person. So in another five years, you're probably going to be a completely different person. I think I hit my peak. What? I think you reach your peak at a stage, man. I'm not sure, man. I, I think you are. still keep changing the cycles. The cycles yeah. all through your life. And if you're on a cycle and another person's on a different cycle because another person's a different person, mm. how do you expect that your lives always go in one direction like that for the rest of it? Like, if I was so different when I was 20 to now that I'm 26, then what's this? Saying I, mean, real, I think it goes like this. Person when I'm I think it goes like this. As the person you see, that you see that the I'm person, with. like you said, the person you love, yeah? So I think this is how you are. And this is how your life goes when you're in love. Like, I think it goes like this and it comes together and it just rises and just keep, and you know, keep going. Why together. would that be you're the case? You're living Disney world, Why bro? would that be the case? That's never huh? the case. You've been in you're love carrying, before. Because you're carrying each other. Uh? You've been in love before. Yeah, I told you. My exactly. Mom, you. You've been in love before. Was it like this? It wasn't like this. It was it, like this. It was It was everywhere. Mm. I'll be real. I'll be real. It was like this until Man of Seven. Oh, exactly. And so you went like this and did this. I'd rather a love <laughs> that actually goes like this. It builds mm, mm, mm. in the wrong way and then mm. we get to this. But if you're going to go all like this straight away and then you just drop dead and you drop down to the floor. Oh, man's not dead. No, no, but you drop down to the floor. I'm just saying. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. I feel like you love builds over time. Like Mandela said, you evolve. Love definitely builds. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm saying like you grow. To, this is what I'm saying where you, like, you grow together. Like this is what I mean. Like Because you're so far apart. You literally grow together. You know each other. You become it like you. You generally become your partner. But what happens when? Sorry, Jesus. What happens when one person's going that way? Huh? Thank you. When one person goes that way, yeah. yeah. And that and that is where you like Compromise your magnetic bond, and yeah. And them. and you cut and you just follow. It oh, you, okay. So that that's where you're I'm not saying this where, is straight. Like no, but that's where but the problems yeah, arise. Right. So someone's going that way, and then you're going what this if way. You're going that way. Huh? Now, how can you guarantee now? This is my thing with marriage as well. Like obviously, I've not fought out fully. But it's just the question to myself is, how can you guarantee you're both going to grow in the same direction? When I am not the same person, I do not even have the same beliefs and morals I had just five, just last year, let alone five years ago, yeah. let alone what I'm going to have in 10 years time. Because mm -hmm. we're talking about life together. We're talking about how people change after marriage, how people change after kids, how people change just when they turn I think 30. I don't think people, yeah. people compromise enough and the, and the ability to compromise. We're in a very selfish place and like the world's like, do you know, compromising is so big. Mm. So I mean, like it could be the little thing of where let's say you had a missus and she followed you, like your club, but she don't want to move to this club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She don't want to follow you. But like that happens loads. Yeah, I can, exactly. But what I'm saying is that, that compromise, that makes you want to work even harder for her. Do you know what I mean? That mm. makes you want to be a better person for her. But and see, them little things like that. that you're saying, you said that like it's little. That's not you said small, it like it's little. It's not, it's not, it's not but this is exactly, a, this is a great point, especially in our lives. What if like you have a woman, but your woman doesn't come above your work quite just yet? Like, I, I still say that there's not nothing that was going to stop me from traveling pretty much anywhere in the world. And like, if somebody was saying that they didn't want to go there, you're gone. At the point that I'm at in my life still, I'm still selfish. I'm still going. And that's exactly my, like, that's, we've grown. And there's nothing wrong with it. Like, we've just grown in a different direction. We've got a different idea on things. I I, I totally agree with that one. Because I have the conversation with my, with my missus all the time. Because if I go abroad and she says my career is in London, I said, okay, well, we'll have the compromise in some way or form, some mm -hmm. way, shape or form. But we won't be growing this way at that time. Mm -hmm. We'll be growing this way mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I'm here, mm -hmm. you're there. Mm -hmm. We have to compromise some way to get back to here. Or it might not work. And you have to accept that. Because there's morals. You can't always compromise on your morals. Otherwise, you don't have none. Like That's why when it's small things, I understand compromise. But when it's like childhood dreams. Yes. Like they've lived longer yeah. than yeah. any other person. Yeah. Like I moved away from my mum and my dad when I was 17. Mm. So I, I just can't it's see not the same being though. another... No, it's true, more... True, true. Yes and no. Yeah, it's I hear not the same. If I, I have children, it. it changes. But then again, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. I'll be so rude of you. There's a selfishness that you have in your career that you know, the drive and desire that you've had from a, from a young. Mm. We've been kicking balls since we were five, six years old mm. to get to the top. Mm -hmm. That's been the aspiration, mm -hmm. yeah? If opportunity comes that can allow me to get to where I've dreamed of being... To make the most of this short career i have to sacrifice somewhere else and if that is where my missus is gonna have to come into it and say okay cool she's the sacrifice i have to make 
unfortunately, that's where the sacrifice is going to have to be made. Oh, I hear it. I think we'll um, just do another's man. Because let's say, all right, cool. So you have kids. Mm. Kids one year old. Mm. Look, I don't care what either you say. You're both going to be like unbelievable dads. You're going to be in your kids' lives like you're going to be in your kids' lives for everything. Of course, yeah. Okay. So you're offered five grand a week to play yeah. step six. Yeah. Right. But you're not married to your missus. No missus. Okay. But you're offered 50 grand a week to go play in Tajikistan. Well, Kazakhstan. Yeah. Kazakhstan steer me. I don't think I would. This is a difficult one, but only because I know my answer. The only reason I say it's a difficult one is because some of the times I see players with kids that make decisions based on their family. And I'll, I'll be completely honest, I look at them and I think, like, you've just got this career once, like, live away from your kids for a little bit, or take your kids with you, or make something happen, and they don't, they stay in step six for a lot less than five grand a week, instead of, but I just can't see it for myself right now. I'm still selfish, and I, I, I'll, I'll say that, like, I still come first in my life right now. And I'm not, re- this is why I don't have kids. The reason why I think I feel like this is because this ain't forever, my kids are. Do you know what I mean? That's even more reason. If you flip it, nah, then that's I, nah. Because there's moments in your kids' lives you don't want to miss, miss, man. No, but I understand there's moments that you don't want to miss, but you have to also understand there's moments that your kids will understand when they get if, to a point real, in their I, lives. Look how old we are, yeah. So we're twenty. I'm thirty. You are twenty-seven. Yeah. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Yeah. Middle, mid twenties still. Yeah. Do you, do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Before you say it, I'm gonna go off my own. Pers- I'm gonna go off my perspective of my life, right? My parents were athletes. Yeah. They were Olympic athletes. Yeah. There's a lot of sacrifices they had to make to not be around. Do you get what I mean? So, whereas if that was us being at our grandma's house, they were going off and competing elsewhere. So, and and my dad going and competing here, there and everywhere. Going to, they can't take us everywhere. You of get course. what I mean? I understand their sacrifice more now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Than I ever will. Mm-hmm. And my kids will understand like the sacrifice when they get to an age like us, they'll understand why I've made those sacrifices to put, put us in a position that we have this life now. You get what I mean? It's a head start in life. I'm giving I you a head it, start I hear it, I hear it. But you I, also got to think about... If I, miss your, if I miss your second birthday... The child don't I, even know. This is the thing. You're actually it's, being selfish thinking that your child knows that you missed your second you're birthday. Not, it's, it don't broski, know. as much as you think that, you, you does. You do, bro. I, I, I don't think that... I think we're a bit older now and um, the way we change is different. But as a kid growing up, like, come on, Do you remember on, your bro. second birthday? Huh? Do you remember your second birthday? Yeah. What, what did you do? I was at my... went to McDonald's in Forest Hill. Mm. Second, where I had it. Second one. Second. Second, second one. Birthday. Yeah. I had, I had loads of birthdays there. That's why I know. <laughs> I think I had like four of them in a row. That's the only reason why I know. I don't remember my second birthday. Neither do I. Then therefore, I wouldn't remember if my mum or my dad was there. I don't remember yeah. what cousins and aunties and little sisters. And yeah, cool, but cousins, oh, they don't care. But your mum and dad, you do. <sighs> when you get older, I think the things that matter most are the head start they put you through in life. Like most stop. definitely, I I hundred percent agree with that. But I'm saying, like, you don't want to miss loads of occasions in your things family for money. Money isn't everything. It's not. No, no. But this is the thing. It's not for money. It's for it's for that childhood dream, that aspiration, that thing that you've been chasing your whole life, and then at the end of it, you're setting up your family, bro. Yeah. You're you are setting up the next generation for a better life. I'm not gonna complain about getting a head start in life because my parents were successful in what they did. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. And my parents were. Well, I know a lot, of, a lot of rich kids do complain. You know? Well, that's their issue. I think that's the super rich. Yes. I agree no, again, Jacobs on the on the brink. We know oh, this. No. We like okay. we said, Ajipong money. Yeah, Ajipong money is crazy. Enough. Crazy, brother. Run stretch their blood. Crazy. Oh. Don't let them. Don't let them try and lie to you. It's Aj- just, we, we spoke about this. Ajipong money is different. Yeah, it's it's, different it's so. just. Have you ever heard a man pay for his own birthday? His own surprise birthday. I just put money stretch, man. Stretch, stretch. Come like Armstrong.